Hello, Lexi and Dylan. This one is called Thimble by Rebecca Young and Tal Swanakit. When Grandma passed away, she left behind a silver thimble. It sat on the floor like a small spilled cup. I picked it up and put it in my pocket. Granddad and Grandma was right, in the middle of making a new blanket when her time came. Mum said, Mabel, you love Grandma's garden. Why don't you go outside and play? Miss Agnes from next door smiled at me, where I pretended I was busy looking for ants. I kept finding things I wanted to show Grandma. I called out for Mum to come see, but she was far too busy. I called out for Granddad to come see, but he was terribly tired. I felt for Grandma's thimble in my pocket and slipped it on my finger. When I held it up, it shone like a raindrop in a sun shower. I closed my eyes and pictured Grandma's soft, warm hands holding mine. I watched a silvery spider weaving a web on the watering can, and a snail slowly zigzagging through a row of carrot tops. I saw a caterpillar carefully crawling along a celery stalk, and a pair of ladybugs tiptoeing around the bowl of an onion. Between two potato tops I found a seashell, the colour of a sapphire. Back inside, Mum and Grandad were busy in the kitchen. Mum said Grandad didn't even know how to boil an egg. She was, she was going to show him a quick thing or two. I gave the vegetables I collected from Grandma's garden. Mum, said Mabel, why don't you find something... Mum said, Mabel, why don't you find something to do while we make dinner? Grandma's thimble gave me an idea. What could she possibly do with it? Mum and Granddad chopped the onions and the carrots. They sliced the celery and potatoes and stirred everything together in a big steamy broth. By the time they had cooked a whole pot of vegetable soup, I'd finished Grandma's blanket. My stitches weren't as tidy as Grandma's, but I liked the way they looped along in waves of blue. Mum cried when I showed her, but she said they were happy tears. She said Grandma would be very proud and that I was lucky I learned from the best. Granddad. Well, Granddad had fallen asleep. So she put the blanket over him. How sweet. Love you, babies. Sweet dreams.